morning and uh, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about ChatGPT. Uh, what is it? Uh, what it's capable of? And why you should be interested in it? Um, why should you care about what GPT can do and uh, what, what it's capable of doing at the moment? So the first thing is, what, what is Ch ChatGPT? Um, well, um, like many systems over the last 10 years, uh, it's a neural network. Uh, like we've had with, uh, say, being able to recognize images or being able to recognize speech, um, or being able to create speech. A lot of these applications are based on uh, a technology which is modeled roughly on the brain. Um, so it's using the same kinds of algorithms, it's using the same kind of technology in all of these different applications. In the case of ChatGPT, uh, they've trained the neural network on text. So they haven't trained it with images or with audio. It's purely text, um, which has been uh, obtained off of the internet from various resources, um, from different sources, um, such as source code repositories and articles and you name it, Reddit. You know, there's a whole lot of different sources of information and text that they've downloaded and they've used that information to train the network. Um, that's not where it stopped, however. They've also uh, gone through a few more steps. They, uh, they got humans to judge whether the responses being created by the network were realistically human or not. Um, and they've used those scores to be able to train the network further. Um, and finally, they've used a kind of reinforcement learning, which is an automated kind of learning, which will even uh, improve the system even, even further. Um, and as a result, they've achieved something which is uh, very much approximating human intelligence, if, uh, if only in the limited domain of uh, being able to provide a, a response to some kind of query. Okay, so ChatGPT is limited, as I said, it's text only. Um, it means that you have to actually give it a request through the web interface. Uh, it doesn't act by itself. There's no kind of self-motivation. It can't go out on the web and talk to people by itself. It has to be asked specifically through its web interface a question by a user. That user at the moment has to be a human, and then it will provide an answer back. Okay. So, okay, what can this system do? Well, there's a few interesting things it's been used for. Um, probably the one that's... Uh, been popular by students has been writing their homework for them so they could uh, you know if the teacher gives you some homework you can put the question into chat gpt and it will you know write an essay for you for example can you help students with their homework yes i can certainly help students with their homework however it's important to note that i am not a substitute for human knowledge and understanding um that's probably not what you want to be using for chat gpt for uh, there are detectors now coming out which will detect that uh, so that teachers will be able to determine what what has been produced by chat and what hasn't. Um, you can potentially diagnose yourself obviously that's not a great idea you, know, you want to be going to see a doctor but it can be quite effective um, and I've tried um, doing this just as a test and you know basically you describe some symptoms um, and it will go through and it will uh, reasonably accurately diagnose you. It's not going to be a doctor at this point, but um, obviously this kind of technology potentially, uh, as it improves, will be able to be a great aid for doctors uh, and may be able to be useful for, for diagnosing things online. Based on your description, it is likely that you have sustained an injury to your upper arm, possibly a fracture or a sprain, as a result of the tractor incident. The swelling, redness, and pain when lifting objects are also indicative of an injury. I recommend that you see a healthcare professional as soon as possible for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Um, it's also being used for um, being able to write articles. So um, I think it was BuzzFeed that's just fired a whole lot of people and said that uh, the reason is they're going to use JetGPT um, as, as replacements. I don't think that's true either. Um, I think that ChatGPT at the moment is a useful tool. Um, it can write some compelling text um, quite easily, and I've been using it myself just in test. Um, Once upon a time, there was a wealthy but evil grandfather named Greed. He was always searching for ways to increase his wealth and power. One day, 
He heard rumors of a magic key that could unlock a secret that would give him immense wealth and power beyond his wildest dreams. The trouble is that it lies profusely. Um, by lying, I mean it, it will uh, cite things as fact or make it sound plausible when they're completely constructed out of uh, thin air. So, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll cite scientific articles, for example, which just do not exist. So you can't trust ChatGPT at the moment. Um, so you don't really want it writing uh, materials for you. Um, another interesting area, which um, given my line of work is, uh, is quite fascinating, is its ability to write source code, uh, write software. So you can get it to, uh, just from an English description, uh, write some source code for a particular function. So you, know, you want to have a, you know, the software to do a particular job, you can describe what it needs to do, and uh, out will come the software that you need to do it. Um, or uh, perhaps a more common task, which I've been using it for recently, uh, you can give it some source code that already exists and ask it for a critique or a code review, and it will tell you uh, how you can improve the code. Um, and it generally does a pretty good job. It's not fantastic. Um, I wouldn't say it's at the level of a superhuman at this point, um, or, or even a, a, a really good senior developer, um, but it gives you reasonably accurate feedback on what the problems are with your code. And I've actually implemented the recommendations in numerous cases at this point. Um, it sort of raises the question about whether it's really intelligent. Is this a form of general intelligence? Well. I went into a bet in 2017 um, about this very question, about whether we would reset, where we get to general intelligence by the year 2020. Well, that's come and gone. I lost the bet. But the question is now, is ChatGPT a form of artificial general intelligence? And I think there's a case that it is. But let's break it up a bit. Is it general? Uh, and I think the answer to that has to be yes. Um, it has the ability to answer questions across the entire knowledge of humanity. Uh, it's been fed with the information from every source known to man uh, available upon the internet. So it is extremely general. And it's able to reason using that information. Now, it's not perfect. And as I said, it lies. It, it, it doesn't construct perfect arguments um, and its concept of the difference between fa fiction and fact are, uh, shall we say, not ideal. Um, but in terms of being able to create reasoned arguments um, or, or be able to deduce facts from uh, existing information, it seems to be quite competent. And It is unlikely that a World War I triplane would stand much of a chance against a modern Apache helicopter in a hypothetical battle. The Apache helicopter is heavily armed with a variety of weapon systems, including a 30mm cannon, air-to-air -air missiles, and air-to-ground missiles. I think it's showing human reason or human level reason to, to some extent, you know, showing the ability to, to take various facts from the natural world and use those to determine some other fact or you know, answer some question um, based on what it knows. So it's able to reason based on it, its knowledge. Um, so that's quite remarkable. Um, and I think it qualifies as general intelligence. What it doesn't qualify is conscious. It doesn't have any sense of experience. It doesn't have a continuous experience like we do. Essentially, it simply responds to questions or submissions that are sent to it. It doesn't have any self-awareness. Um, it doesn't have any kind of temporal experience at all. So, yeah, it, it doesn't have any of those things, so it's not like us in that regard. Um, therefore, it's not going to take over the world in a hurry. It basically just answers the questions that are provided to it at this point.